420 somewhere. Dust on this thing. I haven't really looked at the instructions. I watched a few videos on it. This is the scary part. Gonna drill holes in the floor. I've already measured five, ten times. This looks like the spot. I'm gonna go outside and measure again. I'm doing the holes for these. I'm gonna mark these holes after I can set this down into the holes that I'm drilling. These spots are on the template. Instead of using the template, I'm gonna use this. This thing's pretty heavy. You know this thing's a thousand bucks. What? It's a thousand dollars. My measurements again. 10 inches, nine inches. Should be good. Went through the floor like butter. Yeah. Yeah. Broke the drill bit in the second hole. And it's stuck in there. Maybe I can push it up from the bottom. I don't think it's all the way through. Is it? Oh yeah, no. I cut out a section of floor. I still don't see the bit. Yeah, I felt it moving around in there. Maybe I'll be able to get it out once I get the 40 millimeter holes in. Yeah. I gotta go to the store and get a 40 millimeter hole saw for metal. You sure you want 40 millimeter? It was a 41. These Lennox ones at Lowe's, they cut through wood and metal. I'm gonna go in reverse first. Oh my, burning up. Oh my, there's a hole in the ground. All the paint came off of this thing. the two holes. Perfectly even in between in this space. There's five inches of space in here, it's right in the middle of it. There's the metal layer. That's the bottom. So it goes like this. Vinyl, soft, wood, foam, then wood, then metal. Seems like a lot. I've seen people use this online, but I don't think this is red RTV silicone at the, the auto parts store. Permatex. Everybody online is using this and it's not even the right thing. Cork and rubber base isolation pads. Let's make it just a little bit bigger, a little bit higher. Bottom of this thing gets hot and then also reduce any kind of vibrations. My dad gave me these screws but longer than what it came with. I'm gonna go to Camping World to see if I could find the, a regulator, a propane tank and the fitting for this thing came with a little fitting that you can do a quarter inch copper pipe on. If I have to, I'll just do my own. Wrong hole. There we go. Okay, it's it's lined up. It looks really good. Just gotta mark the holes. Ooh, I'm only trying to go into the wood, not all the way through the metal. Pipe clamps tight. Oh gosh. This thing's in the way. I was able to slide this all the way on now. And it sits flat. Okay. All right, that feels lined up to me. Last screw. Woo! While I'm doing this heater install, my dad, his trip right now, the heater needs a lot of space underneath it. He keeps telling me, you need to put spacers on the heater. We don't even know how hot it's gonna get yet. It's gonna get too hot. It's gonna melt your floor. Like we don't even know anything about this heater. <laughs> I got back from uh, Camping World. None of the fittings fit. Um, you know what, long story. Put one on the back. They have all different size propane tanks in Camping World, and this small size is the most expensive one. What does type one mean? I'm gonna head over to the plumbing supply, Larry and Joe's, see if I can get the fittings and stuff that I need. Larry and Joe's sent me to some Woodland Hills barbecue and fireplace 10 miles away. I'm gonna go back in the Lowe's with my regulator. See what I can find over here. Two. This regulator goes into the tank right here. 
I needed something to come off here. I couldn't find anything. Back in the Lowe's and I found this. It fits into there. Now I have this end and I need to somehow connect this end to the heater. This is what came with the heater. You can put in tube. I got this copper tubing. You can pull it out. Always pull out guys. I think this is gonna work. We'll see. This is European. No European. If you look it up, there's a place where you can get adapters from European to American. I didn't want to wait for that. I might still order that. I leak test it. There's no link leaks. I should be okay. Quarter inch to quarter inch comp to FIP. This also has a compression fitting. This tube does fit into. All I need to use is that tube to connect this that came with the heater to this in between these two fittings. 3 8 inch flare to a quarter inch MIP. Go into there. This end connects to the hose with a two stage regulator. This might be important to note. The regulator at Lowe's, two stage regulator, was only 20 bucks. This one was 60. And I think the one at Lowe's would have worked fine, but it didn't have these plastic covers, which I don't know what they're for. And this one does seem a bit more robust. It's bigger. Put this tape on going clockwise. Unless you have reverse threads. This thing is reverse threads, so I'm gonna have to go counterclockwise. I wonder if I should put on more of this tape. Propane. First spill, you got to get it purged. They started to fill it, and then the guy's like, Hold on, it's been a while since I've done this. And then he calls his boss. How do you purge a propane tank? Boss is like, We don't do that. The tanks that they sell here are pre purged. I gotta find a place that purges propane tanks. There is a half gallon in my tank though, so I guess I could go test out my system. They're over here selling Lysol on the street. Propane place, but I got the kids' tacos in my way. Ended up going to A1 Propane in Van Nuys, and that was the place to go. It cost $2 to fill it. <laughs> Purged and everything. have to check and make sure that there's no leaks. If there's no leaks, then we can test this thing out. A little alligator clip wire, plug this thing in. And can you believe it only costs $2 to fill this thing? I don't see any leaks. You're supposed to spray like soapy water, make it like a strong dish soap. I don't think there's any leaks. Thermostat. I'm a little bit scared right now. Well, the red light's flashing. Oh, and the green light just came on. So it took less than a gallon? I don't know. You couldn't purge Propane. It? Oh, okay, yeah, because I've had them purge tanks before. It's not turning on. Oh. It looks like air in the line. Flashing red. Have you ever wondered the sound that one of these Propex heaters makes? I could make some sort of muffler, reduce the sound even more. Glad that I put it on the driver's side because that way if I'm parked on the sidewalk and people walking by. When I would build things with my dad, we would run into issues and we couldn't figure out what to do. He would be like, let's take a break and eat. We'd come back and we'd figure it out pretty quickly. Uh, ate some dinner, watched the family feud. There's a little reset button on this thing right there and you got to find something super tiny. Paper clip, that didn't fit. Toothpick, didn't fit. I ended up getting a straight pin. This is a straight pin. Push it once, wait a second, push it a second time, it started working. It's already heating up and it's only been five minutes. It is hot, like oh, it will burn me. This thing, holding this thing is gonna burn me. Ow. I just touched the exhaust pipe Almost burnt my finger off. Bottom of the case of the unit isn't really that bad. So you could touch the whole thing, but the exhaust pipe, don't touch that. They have this like sound deadening hose. I'm gonna get some of that. I think I could get this thing pretty close to silent. 
I'm not even talking loud right now and you can totally hear me. It's actually kind of a nice white noise. If I'm trying to sleep, I'm so psyched right now. I have air conditioning, heating and air conditioning. <sighs> Still need to get a hot water heater. Hook up my water and sink and all that close to making this thing livable. Dream come true for me, guys. Everybody that's been watching me like along this path of trying to build my first home, I appreciate you guys so much. If you guys ever need any help with your van build, overlander, whatever kind of vehicle you're trying to build, you're trying to put heating, air conditioning, when you see something that I did, you want to do yourself, don't hesitate to ask me whatever questions you have. Thank Jared Tachi, showed me what was possible. Thanks, Jared. Game changer. 58 degrees outside. It's 70 degrees in here. It's been on 23 minutes. 71. I want to take my jackets off. I can't even. 25 minutes. The battery, like non-stop on. Still at 99.6. It feels warmer than 74. What is this? Do I seem psyched? A lot of these Propex install videos, people were getting this stuff. I get it though, fire barrier. It makes a lot of sense. Read the instructions. It specifically says to get this stuff. It's at the auto parts store. Silicone RTV, it's a gasket maker. I got the max temp version. Just because you see something on YouTube, well, you know, it doesn't mean it's the right thing. It's not this, it's this. I screwed up yesterday with power system. I disconnected the starter battery. Always guard. <laughs> Wanted to be careful and not make a mistake and or like burn up Renergy charger. I get a little stressed out living here at my parents, honestly. 